Good day, everybody. This is Edward of Child, and we are back now. In the previous episode, we started getting some real serious inventory issues, and I don't want to drag you through that, so I'm gonna just do a bit of a cut screen, and I'll be back with all this nonsense fixed. So, see you then. Okay, everybody, we've just managed to do that. That took about 20 minutes of time, so I'm glad I managed to save a bit of that uh, nonsense and spare the content. We did find one thing up there at the Brom's camp, however, called the Archmage Earth Staff, which I believe is a quest item because it's got no parameters or anything. Um, and this little thing, which would definitely be a replacement for my Rolcon. But I'm not dealing with that right now. I still have a lot of poisons and stuff, and I'm considering getting rid of them um, because they're really holding this inventory space back. Either they or alchemy. Maybe I should look at alchemy. Let's actually take a look. What's our alchemy like? Hmm. Now, ooh, look at that. We are at. 70% of a mass lock. We're basically done, people. Our lock picking is crisp. So, what would we like to invest in next? Because we've got a lot of skill points. I want those um, ingredients to really hit hard. So, I'll invest in alchemy real hard because I do want. Um, as soon as I hit 24, we'll be making potions like crazy because I want to get those permanent effects up as high as possible. I believe this is still carrying us through the game. Maybe just beef that up a bit because my magic is quite poor. And let's take that up to 50, get that damage up. Uh, and this up to 30. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that'll keep us going for the rest now. Here's one thing we can do. We can actually go and take on the graveyard. Um, where is that graveyard? There, the ruined graveyard. And the reason why is because we want more taint root or shoots of taint. We still haven't solved that necromancer's problem. Uh, so what we're going to do, because there's a graveyard close to him. Uh, but he needs five shoots of taint. I'll go take on the ruined graveyard with good old heavy hands. And then when we come back, we'll see what we can get out of that um, graveyard next to his house. Wait a minute. I thought this is the... Uh... Yeah, it is. She's not picking up on my... What's that? Oh, my minimap. Okay, it's not picking up on the minimap. Oh, oh, it's a ghoul. I'm gonna get ghoul brain. Ghoul brain sounds like a disease. Oh, interesting guests. We got ghoul brain, mate. Oh, look at that. Oh man, it's like a stink brain. We got bad brain. We got stink brain. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh goodness. This is unexpected. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I agree. I share that sentiment. That guy was tough. Yo, these dudes are not holding back. What? What's that? Oh, look at that! My willpower in peace. Oh man, that's allowed for me to shoot quite a lot of fireballs at him, that's for sure. Oh, you've got some kind of enchantment. Oh, 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 gotcha. Gotcha. This music is devastating. Oh, a critical hit. Oh, I've got a critical hit. Uh, oh, that's nice. Oh, this is mana. Malu! The heavy hand still does the most damage. I wonder if this will take away the poison. There we go, it takes away the poison. But, as we learned last time, my willpower won't be coming back. Send them fire! I need to do my... my Oh, that didn't work. Oh man. They are two distinct looking ghouls. Somebody with my mouse. Or they just decided to show up there. Don't really try to just give me some rolls of gold or something. Oh, no, 
if I can just power it through using the shrine. Oh, that's a bit too much. This poor shrine's gonna. Oh, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something there was. Like a high and low. Okay, can you please stop doing it? I'm s I am can not get up. Yeah, I, they just I think the poison effects just kept stacking because they I couldn't even get up. Here I am. Unpoisoned. Oh. Please stop knocking me over. It's some sort of a poison stack, and when they all joined up and I couldn't get up, they just that stack multiplied my. I might have a chance. If they don't gang up on me and start knocking me down, it's a knocking down of me. Because I can't. Oh man. It's not laughing matter. Man, this, this heavy hands can really sweep. Come on. There we go. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to. If the numbers are lower, it's not so much the damage or the poison, even. It's just the. Uh, well, the poison combined with the fact that they keep knocking down, and then the poison is allowed to do its damage. That's the, Let's have a the real problem. It's not so much the fact that I can't heal. It's just it's, it's the stack. It's the knocking down. Here we go. These dudes are gonna be a huge reward. Potion wise. Who brain is a very good ingredient. Okay, let's just let it. It's gonna just need to run its course, basically. Oof! Whoa! 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 What's getting in there? Just wanna see that raid. That's all the stacks of damage they've done. Combined with the poison. Quite intense. This poor shrine's just working overtime. Tried eating something, but that didn't work. Still nothing. I'm not getting rid of the poison. The poisoning is still there. Like this poor potions, the shrines, everything's trying to get them cleaned. I'm trying to get you off the stuff. The stuff's too strong. Ooh. But I've seen with the previous skeletons, they're quite poor quality weapons that they carry. Wait a minute. There's still skeletons in there. That wasn't even the whole army. Wow, that was like the, the ghoul vanguard or something. Come on, find me that red. I can't imagine what my health bar would have looked like if I had survived that whole group fight. There we go, I see it. Because they had me down for so long, they were just beating on me non-stop. I can't get it. My my bow's further inside. This is a, a problem with this inventory system. I can't reach the other bow. Oh, that sucks. I can't reach it. I can't. I'll have to wait until I actually get rid of some stuff. Skeleton and shoot of taint. What's this? What is that? It's something. You can see what. Oh goodness, I'm poisoned. And this now. Looks like we got a bunch of them. Let me just shoot out this green. Come on, try. There you go. Let's get them. Let's get them. That's some cool music. Uh oh. Oh, are you serious? What? I've been disarmed and I can't even equip my inventory. 
what is this world coming to? Okay, well, drop that and I, have, I don't even know how to Let's respond have a to look. this. Wow. Because that's what you get. Disarm me, and for some reason I could no longer carry my own weapon. Yes. Heavy hands. <sighs> okay, well, at least that did the trick with this. Let's see what's. Oh yeah. Advanced. Let's see. Hmm. I can stack that. Can't stack that. Ooh. That's enough. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Combined them preemptively. I haven't even combined them with that one. Did I empty this hole? Nah. Maybe. Okay. I think that's everything here. Way too many skeletons. Yeah, way too many. Okay, so I think we know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do another cut screen. I'll see you in a bit. Sell some stuff. Okay, everybody, we've just sold it. It took a, a bit more. Um, few trips, two or three trips, so glad I cut that out, a few minutes there. Uh, let me know, because I think it is smoothing out this experience. And I think it's worth it, because I don't want to have you seeing me running up and down selling stuff to local merchants and building up my mercantile ties with the point of that. So let me see, we got some shoots of taint. It's, it sounds like a crude term now, doesn't it? Get a shit of taint. <laughs> okay. So let's go to the other graveyard, see what they've got going on there. And as uh, soon as we see if we have five shoots a taint. We do. Good. If we don't, aish. But we'll get it fixed up and we'll get that necromancer's joy. I really hope he doesn't have another quest. But. Yeah, this looks like the Nern Root version of, of Two Worlds, so very, very likely that he's gonna have more. I need more of the Shooter Taint. Okay. Now, the Arc Mage Earth Staff would. There's probably somebody not in this general area, because I've noticed they're not right next to one another quite a few times. And somebody that needs their staff. What the heck? Where's the enemies? This is new. Is there like a massive ghost over here? What? I don't remember clearing this place. But we still only have two. Plus two. Still only have four shoots a taint. So it's not going to be enough to please that old dude up there because. He wants five. Now, I did skip quite a few places in the past. Graveyard, yeah, we took those two down. Took that one down. It doesn't look like we've got any more of them that I know of. Hmm. Alright, so let's go see this dude, because one of the other quests we had was finally getting rid of the Groms, and it looks like we finally have it, and hopefully. If there's more than three totem poles, hopefully he's willing to take the rest of them. Because my inventory is already experiencing troubles. I don't want to overload with even more useless things. I can't take this axe. That's very, very discouraged. I mean, it's, it's a weapon right there. I wouldn't say the stuff we use is much better, but no, they won't let me. They won't let me take it. Okay, so this is the closest one. We got that Cyclops. I mean, I'm getting stronger, but I don't think I'm that strong just yet. So I'll leave him be for now. Because that one punch I got last time was enough to show me. But, let's actually go to the outpost after this. I remember now that we, um, 
didn't ever go into those tunnels because of the skeletons. And it's not that they were tough, it's just that we couldn't do them any damage. But with good old heavy hands here, it might be a bit different. This dude's actually living quite well. I mean, he's got whatever this is, whatever that is, and he's got his house. Like, oh, gotta do some repairs, man. But beyond that, he's, looks like he's doing well. And he's got two axes. Look at that. How did they program this in? Like, he's doing an NPC action. You don't see them doing their own stuff a lot. They're like walking around, but most of the time they're just standing around. It's good stuff. Hey, man. Roman, Roman you friend. Are alive. <laughs> indeed. Do you have Dude, the people are alive, man. We live. We live here. How in the name of Maliel did you do that? It was easy. The Groms will never attack now. Well, that's so surprised. Performed an invaluable service for our house. Uh, don't don't Sano remind me of the bad teams. things I've done. <laughs> Bandits. Hey. They don't even acknowledge the king. How dare you say that? Karga, their leader, of the Karga clan. Of brave men who serve King Emery's loyally. I wouldn't say that means Do you he doesn't know where Ultar king. Karga is? Yes, you see, Ultar, Ultar Karga. Everyone hunts him. There's a big reward for his head. And the head of his son, Kahal. If we knew their hideout, they'd be feeding the crows on Gallows Hill by now. Oh no! If the House of Skeldon indeed rules Talmont, then how can you not be aware of Ultar's whereabouts? Because the Karga Good clan question. is awesome. Some villagers believe that we were given Talmont only because of an evil plot. Yes, it's as red as the, sh as the red on your shields. To get their help Although their they don't wear shields, but I'd imagine they have a similar shield to the shield of Chai. Just with black instead of grey. Good old red and black. Ooh, reputation, experience, and a lot of other things. Let's go to the outpost. I'm glad I didn't go with the route of antagonizing the outpost. Even though that was my accident. Because now I can actually fix those quests. For some reason, I get that feeling. Interesting. I know, I know, but I, I get that feeling. Just, just check. That I think over. What's that over there? We're looking south. Look at the scenery. This, I can see two claw towers, and then there is. Ah, so it is Cathalon. I thought it was a bit weird. There's Cathalon in that place. Whatever that place is. Cathalon! I thought it was Cathalon. What the heck? Can you see that? There he is. There you are. I'm not fighting you yet. But when I do, oh, you'll know. You'll know. Okay, so that's that. There we go. I don't know why they call it the border teleport. I mean, it's the outpost. Who are we bordering with over here? The wilderness? Okay. No trainers. This outpost is as dull as it's always been. Hey, wait a minute, you special. Welcome to Oh, he's still talking. Yeah. He's not he's not being aware that I do only business. Oh, you see, we're getting improvement. Oh, this one's already built in with cold damage. Hey, hey now, some of these guys are getting... This is getting close. The double-headed halberd, I think we're getting closer to um, that specific item. Like, you essentially choose to settle on an item that you're going to be carrying through the game. That's... Okay, I gotta say, look at heavy hands. It's like a, it looks more like an iron rod with a twist in it. It's actually a pretty cool looking item. Except for the weird bandage strips that it's used uh, using for a handle. It does look a bit cooler now that I'm looking at it from a better angle. Random steel plated silver knight. Grey knight dude, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna get rid of these people. Pull out good old heavy hands and do the work. Get rid of those skeletons. Boink. Show them. Hopefully this 
Weapon can do the job, but Ooh. I struggle with skeletons everywhere, so I think it will. Um, oh! <laughs> Teleportation! He's gonna hit me. Take that. Take that indeed. This thing makes short work of it. Ah. Let's see. That's some good stuff. What a game changer. Hopefully there's not a Cyclops in here as well. I mean, I'll, I won't be forgetting that Cyclops because at some point there will be a reckoning with him. Um, there will be in the Dwarven Mines, but just not yet. Okay. Nothing to pick. This is a small little place. Oh, I think it comes back to the other chamber. Is this this? This all. But. Hey! Is this thing going. Am I lost? Is that where I came in? Okay, I say. This is difficult. I'm sorry, this. This place is really me. What the. Can I zoom in on the map or something? This is really doing my head in. Okay, yeah, well, at least we got you, my friend. <laughs> Clean-faced individual. What happened here? Never mind that. Get me out of Buff. here. Oh, for a look chat. at that. I will he did not skim these exercises while in this jail cell. That's for sure. A necromancer's experiment must have gone wrong. Have you All been right. entertaining them as well? It's hard to tell with that kind of magic. The Brotherhood permitted necromancers to experiment here? To revive dragons, I guess. Nay, the Brotherhood had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Darad on Moria ran this place. As crooked a commander as I've ever seen. Oh, and man. I've seen a few in my time. But I he tell paid you your lad. checks and you didn't mind. Did you know did him you? well? I was his second lieutenant. <laughs> I made the mistake of <laughs> telling him I was against Necromancer's experiments here. Oh, good. He threw me in jail for going against him, as he well, said. At least you did the but right it's thing. It's greed for Necromancer's gold that bothers him. Do you think that he died with the others? Gold? Nay, he's too slimy, that one is. He must have teleported out of here. Cool. And I know where he's headed. When I catch where? up with him, I'll murder the scum. So hey, wait a minute. You know where to look for him? Is this the same I, commander that the dragon the trader is angry at? Because I see that as an absolute win, now, which me means we'll get here. to take out an evil slimy dude and that as well. Who is that body behind you? My friend. That's Lord Aldrot, a young boy who got into trouble. He wasn't as lucky as me. Hmm. How can I get you out? Unlock Bring the key. Me a lock pick. I got one. I will find one. One moment. Dude, you got like 40. Hello, stranger. Get me a lockpick. It's not considering my skill level at lockpicking. This is quite insulting. Ah, at last. Well, are you serious? That's one impatient person. At last. Only waited two seconds. Dude, no, no. Trick me. Okay, so he's going there. Let me just see what's up here. This, I can't get the proper details of this map. What's over here? That is a bit of a negative. That's not a chest in it. No. Okay. So let me just get this right. This is where we came in from the other side. That's where we got him. That's where we went there. And this is also a new area. I'm just trying to navigate this. It's quite difficult to actually understand the structure. Let's of have a look. Okay. This is, I think I popped in here once. Okay, so hopefully that solved all the quests. Come on, man. Can't wait forever. Oh! oh, oh. We'll there. show him. We'll show him. Where's my friend? Where's my friend? Why did he leave me alone? Say hello to my death. friend is still in the dungeon. He's too cowardly to help. Arr, arr. Hey! Heavy hands is quite an improvement. I mean, it's not slowing me down. The pole arm was a bit difficult to get the attack going. 
I'm gonna What's guess that? my grey knife friend is busy fighting and sit for his life if this is happening. And the other question is what did I do to disturb the balance? Hey, why are these skeletons coming out? Okay, we'll have a, a short cutaway again after I finish this fight. Because it seems we have inventory issues once more. Hello! <laughs> I did notice it when I was watching another video. Well, it was of Mi Minecraft, but the general idea of oh, come on, cutting out some scenes and just keeping the good stuff, even with a playthrough, it's probably worth it just on the real boring stuff or on the irrelevant stuff because you don't want to be watching me just pick up inventory. Which I'm gonna be doing for a while over here on this place. My friend, he's gone. Wait a minute, is he fighting them? What is happening over here? My steel cladded friend, who is obviously strong enough to take on these skeletons, is also missing. Is the outpost under attack? That's a very big likelihood. Like the, the small little shanty down there, the shanty Morton Bailey or whatever. Now there's a fog. Are the dragon's coming back. What's happening over here? What the heck? So only for that area. That is a bit strange. Just take a look. Did I loot all this stuff? No, I didn't. Hey, 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 now. That's... Oh, oh. That's precious. Oh, man. I'm gonna have a loot run on this. What the? Oh, I saved the advanced chest because I couldn't unlock it. Well, with high reliability at that point in time. Okay. Okay, well, let's just take a look at the map. What's the map saying? Well, you wanna know? Discovered he's the... Ah. How sad! I thought I discovered him alive in the jail cell. That's just so sad, man. Eh? So... Oh. Oh. I thought that I... Where did that other coward run to? I thought he ran somewhere west, wasn't it? Ah, the rules. What's this? Okay, well, we'll sort that out later. For some reason, this... Well, I'm gonna call him a coward now. This coward in, in steel plate ran away. I have no idea why he would do that. What a coward! <laughs> Betrayed me and left me to fight. Him and the dude in jail. They both left me to fight. Why would I ever help anybody again? But beyond that, now yeah, we at least we finally settled the score with everything in that jail. So that's good. I'm so sorry, bro. I met someone in jail, but he's not that one. And here's this dude, this super boring, well not boring, the super depressed guy. Arr, okay, fine. Wait a minute. Leave. Uh, ah, and? How, how fares my brother? You see, he even looks like the guy who was in the jail. What? Ah, Tell me you just I'm sorry, my friend. Me I'm so sorry. No jest. Most of the men up there are dead, killed by a necromancer's experiment. That's real sad, bro. I when I heard strange noises from the outpost. Yeah. But I thought to myself, uh, what of it, Esco? The strange sounds of I know, bro. Before. So they experimented yeah. again. And killed my brother this time. Please, leave me. I'm sorry, bro. I will grieve alone. I know. It must be tough. Man. Even in a game, such stuff's a bit sad, man. Oh, gotcha! I knew there was one. Welcome. You don't seem to get it. I don't want to talk to you. I just want to sell you all this loot. Uh, ooh. I am up armoring every day. It's beautiful. Ooh. Too bad. That's plate. That's plate armor. Oh, 
Okay. Huh. That's okay. I did start getting rid of traps. Simply because I can't see myself using them for any length of time. You know. And if I really need them, uh, I'll just buy them. That's that important. Okay, I'm gonna start a flash from here. I'm just gonna go loot all those skeletons. We'll do a quick cut screen. So see you soon. Okay, everybody, we are back, and as you can see, I'm wearing that chest piece that I found in the house. Only difference. Show you so. Yes, some other thing that's quite interesting. I found this on a skeleton. You see that? That is what I'm trying to make with my alchemy eventually. A fox heart potion made of these. Where are they now? Fox livers. Okay, whatever. But it's a potion that's going to give me a permanent increase. So let's drink it. Yes. A permanent increase. That's some good stuff right there. That's what I really want to focus on when I get my alchemy up, which will be quite soon. Um, I'll definitely put some focus in on that because I think we can do that this episode. I think we have the the ability to. Um, no, we can. That's true. I did get him, but where will I find him? Because we're still looking for him. The commander apparently just slipped up and he went waste. That's a bit weird, okay. Can't do anything for this guy. Let's actually take a look what we can do now. That's the wolves. A few people have been allowed to see. Yeah, that's that dude. Um, oh, that's a bright. I mean, I don't know how I'll get there. It's just a, But it might be time to finally go and see... Tarbakin or whatever that is in the north. Let's do the thing in the north. Because um, I have a feeling it's very likely going to be Utar Kargas and the Karga clan's hideout. Oh, don't tell them that. I know, I know where they Let's are. Have a look. I know where they live. Maybe. Let's go see. Let's go see, man. And hopefully we can get into a couple of fights on the way there so I can get that alchemy up. Because it's going to be cool, I mean, I've got a lot of potions ready. I don't know if you can mix effects or if it's all got to be pure dexterity, pure strength, pure willpower, and pure vitality. Whatever it is. Uh, what's this? What are you? Oh, chicken. And if it makes me a bit more coin, I could actually just make all the useless ingredients into potions and sell them off. Hey, I see you. Like their tusks. Hello! <laughs> if he ends, I must say, I, I'm not gonna give up the pole arm that quickly. But it is enticing. The only thing is, as I said, I mean, when you go in on a weapon, you have to go in properly. Then you have to what's that? put all the gems in it, enhance it, um, get that enchantment and everything going. And, and if you mess up, you lose a lot of of, ge of gems, and they they oh, they don't work according to points. They give you percentage increases in damage, so it's a huge loss, especially at the high levels. Massive amounts of damage. Benya. But despite the range disadvantage, this this bludgeon is doing its job quite well. I mean, two worlds two that in fact definitely held up. Definitely, there was a world of difference between using short weapons and pole arms. Uh, an insurmountable difference. It was. I couldn't get through the freaking game without it. It was really difficult. But the second you go over to that, oh, I almost forgot. I actually saw a weapon that almost looks like the Volge I'm interested in. Getting um, as soon as it's there, it just didn't have the zebra pattern on it, so I know it's not the one that I'm thinking of. But yeah, as soon as that thing's open, what's that? Is that a magnesite? We will very likely be able to make a magnesite potion, get some permanent protection. 
so that's good. Oh yeah, does anybody live here? I, it's definitely preferential to loot and, and raid all these places before, because just like the necromancer's hut, I managed to loot it before he came in. Ooh, oh man, it's a bit lower. It looked real good. Okay, I'll just keep another of that because I'm not gonna do all the running around for that one item. I'd rather prioritize getting my uh, XP up. <laughs> Come on, let's see what's up in the north. What the heck is this? Hey, what's this? What's with these pixies or butterflies? What the heck? Is this just. This is very like standalone. It's all by itself. Oh, it, I don't know. It's going to be something special. <sighs> let's let's give that away. I really want to see what's up in the north, and I I do think we'll encounter enough enemies to get that level twenty four as well. I do think let's so. So, oh, it's a, ro a broken piece of tower. Broken piece of wall. Echo Knight, it is then. Get some nice stuff, although I haven't found a strength increasing herb yet. Yeah, they're so pathetic. They are, huh? Let's get them. Let's get them. Oh, oh goodness, oh goodness. Wait, wait. I, I called you guys pathetic. I don't think you heard me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can just hear it. The other guy had a plate armor that helped him take it. This one, I was pulping him. Pulping him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Ah. Ah. Look like I just... Yeah, just before I jumped. He... Oh! <laughs> Grounding. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. 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 <sighs> Only problem is I can't Let's move their stuff. Yep. So, this will mount up a bit, but... Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We'll I'll do a proper catch up with this a bit later. Come on. Come on. Show me the mana. Show me the mana. You up, my friend. You up. I can definitely fit a lot more of those heels. Hey, man. How are you doing? How are you guys doing? Oh, 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 I thought it would be a one shot. They are still above one shot. Barely. I ah, know. Look, you gotta give them, uh, you know, points for trying. At least they're still trying, but yeah, it's it's a hopeless cause at this point. Which, it is really still amazing how fast that changed. Is it up here? Or is it down here? My little source. Ah, it's in that cave. Come on, you guys. Ooh, got him. Got him. I'm gonna run out of space. Oh, look at the face there. <laughs> Bloat root. Oh, I think we are at the Karga clan, if I had to guess. If I had to guess. Let's see. But sadly, we didn't get our. Yeah, not. Too, we're close, we're close. So we just need to do a bit more grind. Oh, yeah, yeah! What's this? What's this? Wait, you guys, wait! I'm here! Don't, don't go fighting the NPCs! Wait! Wait, man, wait! No, he's gonna waste the XP. Excellent. Marcus? Marcus, you can let your guard down. <laughs> you gotta teleport right to the gate. <laughs> ah, you're the bounty hunter from Camarin. He Get knew, away. but There's don't don't insult me. I'm a mercenary. What is this place? I told you, away with you. We don't need strangers here. What kind of armor is he wearing, Marcus? Ah, you're the. Oh, I told you. Take a look. 
This is very likely the Cargo Clan. I probably just need to get some more influence before I can access the special sanctum they have right next to the teleport. So, that's a bit disappointing. Marcus, you sir. Wait, let me see. This is probably gonna... Yep. <laughs> oh, it is like it's very technical, but just not well thought out. Uh, so to anybody playing new, wondering, there you go. There's your giveaway. Come on. That is a plant that looks special. Oh, it rendered in far away. I thought it was like something, something special. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so well, we do know what's up here. Just, I think we need to ingratiate ourselves just a bit more with the Karga clan. Before they let us, let us come closer. Hey, bear. I see you. I see you, bear. I'm sorry everybody, I mean this I am a bit of a perfectionist on this clearing the fog of war and everything. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, did you miss me? That's what you get. <laughs> it's true, that is what you get. Ah oh, I still have item clear out. I just wanna let me just get that level. If I can just get up to that level I'll We'll do the item clear out on the next episode because I do I just want to get my level 24. Yeah. Let's have a look. Don't, 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 don't. Huh. What's over here? I mean, this is the lake. We're back at the lake. What is that? Thank goodness they. Get taken down by one spell. Ah, oh, come on, I need you guys. Please, there's gotta be enough XP in these wars to get me there. But how much more do I need? This is getting a bit frustrating, the grinding is getting a bit frustrating because. I want to get there, man. That inventory issues compounding. Oh man! There you go. Yeah, that's still an issue. That'll still be an issue if I have to. Eight oh nine one. Let me just see what the impact is of a few wolves. Eight oh nine one. The XP gains look quite low, which I like. I do like having a fairly low value, just sort of it's a, a nice baseline. Because a lot of these games are like, you've got 5 trillion XP. It's like, you could have just made it 500. So I like that they keep the values low, the numbers low. If this is a German <laughs> company, they'd probably do it just to avoid <laughs> one more. <laughs> No spells on. Oh, everything cuts. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. 8091. That's about 30 for. How many was it? 6. So that's 5 XP per wolf. That's not a lot. You usually expect more. Oh! I ain't getting away. I'm getting your fat. I want that vitality. Especially now, because I'm almost at the XP threshold. Hello, bear. Let's get ya. Come here. How am I gonna explain? Like, at some point, I'm gonna save my sister, and she's gonna be like, Where were you? I was fighting bears, man. I was fighting bears. That's just what we do. That bear also gave me 5 EXP, which. It's a bit unfair, we know that the bear's a bigger challenge. There we go. Oh, goodness me. That's real bad. That's real bad. Okay, Lee. I don't want to have to lose alchemy ingredients too. Okay, doink, doink, and doink. That's our basic skills that we got up. Now let's see what we can do over here. The very least, we can at least 
How does this work? Oh, okay, there we go. New potion. Uh, let's call it a wolf heart poison. Oops. Come on. The effect will last only 30 seconds, but it increases and it, it poisons. Yes, it does poison, doesn't it? It looks like it does. It doesn't look beneficial. Poison minus 500. What does the Bolivis do? Heals. Yeah, so there we go. Okay. Where do I put this? Okay, so that did that. Oh, it's like in my cauldron. It's like a separate compartment. That's weird. Okay. Okay, well, we, we managed to do that. What would be our step now? We're sort of in it now. We need to do an inventory clear at that camp. And I... I'm gonna avoid these wolves. I know it's... I can't do it. I can't do that. You... I don't wanna lose their ingredients. Even though that is useless, I just I'm, I'm I like clearing stuff out all the way, and it bugs me if I leave, because the the freaking the, uh, the carcasses is not gonna go away. That What's annoys that? me. It annoys me knowing that I leave that blemish on this place. That's just me. That's just me. I don't know why. Uh, okay. So let's get to a merchant. We're gonna sell a lot of custom made potions. And then. Wow, that is actually remarkably close. I didn't realize they were that close because I sort of forgot the lake's placement. I mean, it's not worth running there, but it's still quite close. Huh, I couldn't see. Yeah, that's Tarbakin. I wonder if you can actually see them from here. You probably could, you probably could. I'm not gonna do that right now. Nalax Conga! Point! This merchant, he knew I was coming into town and he tried to get him away. It's <laughs> like, no, you're not getting away, my friend. Now, mortgage, <laughs> mortgage your house, you need to buy my wares. Like, oh, 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 yes. Sorry, bro, I got a lot of stuff. Uh, slashing. 491. Ah, I'm gonna leave this. I know it's a bit, but Heavy Hands is doing well and it's not the last polo I'm gonna want, so I'm fine. Just getting good of it. What's this Fox Potion? Just a temporary one. 165, 165. That's the heavy armored stuff. Okay, that one looks cracked. Oh, it's still acting. Okay, I thought it was like some uh, quest item or something, damaged one. Hail stranger! Hail stranger indeed! Let's just see. There we go. Okay, so let's make another. Okay, so that's how you do it. You just do that. Do you right click? Yes, it goes to inventory. Oh, excellent. Get another one. I'll just make a bunch because. Let's see. We'll clear that up. I don't know if I can make an even more intense potion. You think? Like, we get a lot of wolf hearts. Mm. And it's a poison. Let, let's keep with that. Oh. It'll take a while. Sorry about that. I don't know. If I want to skip all this. Maybe in the next episode if I do something like this again. A bit further down. Still got three of them. This is just ingredient clearance. I should actually be thinking of what permanent ones can I make. So, what permanent ones? How many? We only have eight ghoul brains. How is that even possible? That's actually useful. In going forward against zombies. Um, what herbs do we have above 10 in the first place? A decent amount. 
it's not many. Maybe toadstools are also poison. Also poison. It's a Bolivus potion. Toadstool. Mm. It's not. We don't need to have a lot of permanent ingredients. I probably should have spent a bit more time in the wilderness. Wait a minute, you're not going anywhere. We are selling this. 540. It's good money. Man, I'm gonna have a lot of additional damages when this is over. Okay, well, I'd say I'm doing decently, so let's cut it here. Next episode, I'll definitely be just running up this road, getting the stuff that. Uh, was left behind then we'll explore this little road here that little road there see what we can find but Tarbakin is calling louder and louder I haven't even gone to that cave actually so we will address that especially as, I mean there's a lot of fog of war still left in this area so I can explore that as well I am a bit more methodical but we'll get the because we're still sort of allowing the equipment to increase, improve. Last time I played in this game, I couldn't really or easily get past, what was it? The Hadabor Castle. And it's quite a challenge here at Ashos. Because, um, yeah, there's a lot of difficult enemies here. So you want to have your equipment be quite uh, top notch for that. Yeah. Yeah, I was completely wrong about this map. Completely. It keeps you busy. It keeps you busy. There we go. Now we can only see the good stuff. Teleport. Okay, that those two we can do. Uh, paid murder. Well, the dude left. So I don't really know what we're supposed to do now. Really don't know what we're supposed to do about this guy, because... The commander fled somewhere. Was he in an inn? He might have been in an inn. I'll follow up on that. I'll see what I can do. But yeah, for now, this has been a pretty good one, and I think we're getting a good oh, format stranger. going. So, hello, oh, what you got to say? Good day to you. I'm gonna put you in the thumbnail. Thank you, my friend. Rumor has it that they have a there we go. That's a good one. <laughs> what a what a convenience. Okay, thanks, man. This dude, you just made it. I had no idea. Okay, thanks, bro. Uh, so I hope you have a good day. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy the next one. And this has been Edward of Child with Mercenary, and he's oddly um, decentralized adventure. Like he's doing nothing to save his sister. He's just doing what he wants, and that's what mercenaries do. So much respect. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.